What's up, guys? It's Unders. So a question I was asked recently was, does Logic have a clip gain? Kind of makes sense. It doesn't handle clip gain or gain functionality in the most obvious way. So let's dive into it. And a big thanks to the channel sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service. And the best way to get your music out to all of the modern streaming services fast efficiently and within an independent artist's budget. Check out the description below for a discount today. Okay, so let's look at the ways that Logic kind of handles uh, clip gain and its whole gain system. You've actually kind of got smart clip gain integrated, and I'll show you how that works right off the bat here. So let's go into Apple Loops and we'll just grab something nice and spiky and loud. Cool, and let's just drag these drums into here. Okay, so once we drop those on there, you need your inspector up on the left hand side here. Press I if you can't see it, that is the shortcut. And you can see here we've got a follow tempo on, but it's also got gain minus 7.6. So it's actually clip gain down this as we board it in. Logic sensibly, if it finds something that's like a zero clip, it goes, whoa, let's bring that down to a more sensible level. So you're not just blasting your session apart every single time. See, this loop should actually be like this. So Logic's been sensible and it brought it down by like 7.2 or something, right? Perfect. Okay, so you can do that as well. If we were to just dive into, say, my regular sample library. And we'll just drop this in here. So this time, Logic's looked at this and it's gained it up 1.9. Well, you could manually choose that. If I don't want this to sound like this, perhaps I wanted it to sit more in the background. I can simply double click and do minus six and now it sits nice in the back for us. All right, here's the kicker though. What if we want to change gain over time? We've got something that's quite dynamic. Well, the way you do this is you use the utility plugin. Let's just take these drums for an example. Let's hit X, bring up the mixer just here and just press F to get rid of that. And on here, we're just gonna put the utility plugin. So we're gonna get up our plugin, scroll all the way to the bottom, go to Logic Utility. Uh, and there it is, it's called Gain. And here we've got a simple gain knob control hidden away in there. Now, if we want to automate this over time, this is going to be the way to do it. Question I get a lot, why not just automate the fader? Really simple. If you've automated your fader and you want to make any kind of mix adjustment later down the line, you have screwed yourself and you're going to have to redo all that automation. It's a pain in the backside. If you automate a gain control, anything you've done with a fader doesn't matter. So if you want to do that, you're simply going to hit A, aren't you? You're going to go just here. You're going to go to gain. You're going to go to gain again. And then we can draw in any kind of fancy shenanigans that we like. Beautiful. And because we've done it that way, we can adjust the fader and add 6 dB. And it's always just going to work the same because it's been gained that way. I hope that helps. I hope you know understand the different ways it works and that Logic's actually got a smart gain and it's going to roughly adjust everything for you so that you can make smarter mixing decisions as you go along. Guys, I hope that's been helpful for you. If it was, please bash a like on the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.